Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to the episode of the Nonary Games. Hopefully you guys have been anticipating this episode because we are about to find out what in the world is happening with the two characters that we just went to the door number five. Considering that in the last episode, we were told that you, um, well, basically all the characters that um, have scanned for the doors opening have to enter the room. So... One of them didn't enter because, well, he was being threatened to back off. And now we're going to find out what is going to happen to that crazy white-haired old man. Um, and the hostage. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I have a feeling he's going to die. But, I don't know, I don't want the hostage to die either. Oh dear. Anyways, before we begin the story, I did say in the last episode I'll go check up on the sales um, for this particular game. Um, so, apparently the entire cast for both Nonary games comprise of very popular Japanese seiyus. Uh I did guess whether the pigtail girl um, was Kugimiya Rie. Apparently, it's not her. But... Kugimiya Rie is a character in the next game. So I'm looking forward to the next game as well. So let's move along with the story. ね、何か音が聞こえない音確かに聞こえますね。何の音だろう話が違う<笑> <笑>何が起こってるって言うんだ助けてくれ開けてくれ頼むなぜだなぜ反応しないエンゲージと使用中だと Holy shit, he just exploded. Oh god.電車。今の認証装置の音か。表示板のサインがエンゲージドからベイケントに使用中から空室に変わっています。開けてみよう。これで装置には俺の番グルナンバーである5が入力されたことになる。運だよな。だが、一人が認証しただけでは扉は開かない。少なくともあと二人は必要だ。Hmm, okay, so apparently we have to pick now. Um, how many? Well, Two of them went in and there are nine people, so technically there are seven people remaining. So it really depends on who you want to bring with us. Um and we don't know if the other well, if we're going in with three people, basically there's four more people remaining, so can the other four actually enter the room again? I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, 
Um, let's see. Maybe let's take June with us. Because she's our childhood friend. <laughs> Don't want anything to happen to her. Santa. それから、えっと、紫。ちょっと手を貸してくれないか。5+3+6。イコール14。14の数字コンパ。1+4=5だ。これで条件は整ったはずだ。あとは脇に取り付けられたレバーを下げればきっと。いいか開くぞ。なんてことだ。ワイノウドレイシー。ひどいな、こいつ。There おい、どうしたんだ。すごい熱じゃないか。とにかく休もう。な、歩けるか。さあ、ここに。That's <laughs> pretty strange. Why would anyone catch a fever just from seeing a dead body? I mean, you're probably going to shock, but a fever? That's some pretty strange writing right there. <laughs> Oh well. Taishobuka。なあ。何か心当たりがあるやつはいないのかよ。ゼロのこと、ノナリゲームのこと、何でもいい、教えてくれ。一体どうしてこんなことになったんだ。10時か。ゼロのアナウンスがあってから1時間だな。ああ、もううんつたりだ。いつまでこんな風にしてるつもりだ。ゼロが言ってたタイムリミットまであと8時間しかないんだぞ。いい加減動こうぜ。とっとと先に進もう。私はいいやよ。あの男みたいになるのはごめんだもの。あの男あの9
<笑>何がおかしいいやあまりにも自信たっぷりに言うもんだからついね何だとそういう問題じゃないんだよあ9番の男が死んだ理由さトラップだのなんだのそんなものは関係ないんだじゃあどうしてあの男はゼロの定めたルールを破っただから死んだただそれだけのことだわからないかもう一度ゼロの言葉を思い出してくれやつは人数制限について何と言っていたナンバリングドアを開くことができるのは3人から5人までだろその後は重要なのはその後なんだゼロは続けて何と言っていたかなん当然その先へと進めるのも同じ人数となるゼロは確かそんなことをつまり中に入れるのも3人から5人までってことだ正解だところがあの9番の男はそのルールを破ったたった一人でナンバリングドアの先へと進んだだから処刑されたんだするとやはりゼロはどこかで俺たちの行動を監視してるってことになるなルール違反を犯さないかどうか常に目を光らせてるってわけだうんそれはどうだろう必ずしもそうとは限らないんじゃないかななんでだ処刑は自動的に行われるシステムになってるからだよ常に監視してる必要はないんだどういうことだはあ、仕方がない僕の口から言うしかなさそうだねしばらく待っていればもう一度ゼロからのアナウンスがあるんじゃないかと思って黙ってたんだがどうもそういう兆しはなさそうだしな君は何か知ってるのかああ知ってる何をこれだよカード何が書かれているのか見てみなよおいおい参ったなこんなもの私に渡されたって出せあ,あなんだこりゃ<笑>なるほどな展示じゃないかこれ悪いがお手上げだ返すよでそれは一体何なのよ気がついたらポケットの中に入ってたんだおそらくゼロからのメッセージだと思うゼゼロからのメッセージだとな,なんで書いてあるんですかまあ待てよそう慌てるなせかさなくてもこれから読み上げてやるバングルナンバー2番のもの君は目が見えないというハンデを負っているそこで君だけに特別にこの情報を伝えようレッドデッドおよびバングルの仕組みについてだレッドとはレコグニションデバイス名称装置のことを言うアンバリングバーのさらには必ずこの装置に取り付けられている一方デッドとはリアクティレーションデバイス開始装置のことだこれはナンバリングドアの向こう側に設置されていてバーグルに仕込まれた
Okay, so with all this information being said by Zero, this is really suspicious because, first of all, the three people who opened door number 5 again did not scan their bracelets at the date sensor. So technically, their bracelets should still be counting down. Am I not right <laughs> to suspect that? Then, here's the other thing. So now, the blind dude feels a bit suspicious because how in the world does he know that you know this is a whole setup where you know zero doesn't have to monitor i mean certain things if you're smart enough you can cheat around a system i mean every single game out there or every single technology out there there's some kind of cheating mechanism behind it or loophole basically so you know if you're playing a dev game with certain people, I'm sure there are some people out there who might think outside of the box or you know beyond your understanding that might surprise you. So you have to monitor the game itself. So for him to mention that Zero is not watching them at all, I feel that that's very sus. <laughs> so this, so far Nonary Games feels like it's a Saw game. At the same time, it's like a game of Among Us, if you get the trend. <laughs> yeah, so let's see how things go. あの、
送信機を破壊してる人の愛には体内のお花油が速やかに炸裂する仕組みになっているさて君に教えられる情報は以上となるこの情報を生かすも殺すも君次第だうまく活用すれば序盤の段階で邪魔者を排除することも可能だろう検討を祈るようやくするとつまりレッドで認証を受けたチームだけがナンバリングドアの先へと進めるということかチームメンバーは一人かけてもいけないしもちろん増えてもいけないレッドデッドバングルはそのルールを守らせるための装置いわばジャッジのような存在なんだろうな<笑>爆弾だなんて冗談じゃねえ出ろ出てこいよクソがこの腹の中に爆弾がそれにしてもスロはどうしてこんな馬鹿げたゲームをなあもう一度だけ聞かせてくれ本当にゼロについて心当たりがあるやつはいないのかゼロの姿を見たんだよな拉致られた時にだが顔は分からなかったあの野郎ガスマスクをかぶってやがってってあれなんだよそのしらけた反応はもっとこうなんかないのか驚いたりとかそういうのそれなら私だって見たわよああ私もだ私も見たよマスクの中は分かんなかったけどあのガスマスク心臓に悪いですよねええつまりは全員拉致された時の状況はほぼ同じだったってことだな場所は事実時刻は深夜ゼロとおぼしき犯人はガスマスクをかぶっていた白い煙を吸い込んで意識を失ったそして気がつくと D デッキの船室三段ベッドのある部屋に横たわっていたとセブンはそういえばセブンはどうだったんだよなあ俺か俺もまあお前らと同じようなもんだよそれはまあひとまずいいとしようそれよりもニルス四つは二人同じ部屋で拉致されて同じ船室で目覚めたってどういうことだよお前ら一体どういう関係なんだよ私たち兄弟なの兄弟そう兄弟ニルスがお兄ちゃんで私が妹って言わなくてもわかるよねまそういうことだそんなに驚くことかなそりゃ驚くだろうがどうして顔見知りだったら他にもいるじゃないかほらそこに私と俊平君のことですかああそういえば言ってたな二人は幼なじみだとかなんだとか確か小学校が同じなのよねええまあそれはそうだがなあそれってゼロの正体を突き止めるための手がかりになるんじゃないのかああそうだな被害者の接点をたどれば容疑者につながる犯罪捜査の常識だ純平君紫さん何か思い当たることはないの思い当たること思い当たることですか
例えば大富豪の御曹司が生徒の中にいたとか大富豪の御曹司船を丸ごと一石使ってこんなゲームを仕掛けてきたんだものゼロにはよほど財力があるとしか思えないわああそれはどうだろう私は何らかの組織による犯行だと思うがねゼロというのはその代表者か象徴みたいなもので組織っていうのは軍だとか研究機関だとかいろいろあるだろうこれはもしかしたら何か心理学的な実験なのかもしれないだとしたらよっぽど狂った実験だな人が一人死んでるんだぜゼロが何者なのかは分からねえが頭のいかれた野郎だってことは間違いない仮に複数ならもちろんそいつら全員がだだからそれはもう終わった話だろうだがそれなら一体どうすればそそれはちゃんと話し合ってからこれ以上何を話し合ってんだよここでああだこうだ言い合っても結局何一つ脱出への手がかりなんざ見つかってねえじゃねえか本当にいいのかよこのままで俺たちに残されたのはあと7時間半与えられた9時間のうちすでに1時間半も使っちまったんだぞそうねやむをえんな先に進むしかあるまいゼロの言いなりになるなんて腹渡が煮えくり返るほどムカつくがまあこのままじっとしててもしょうがないしねニルスのカードのおかげでどうすればいいかも分かったしああルールさえ守っていればきっと大丈夫何も起こらないだろうでもなんだ誰がどっちの扉に入るんですかああそうか一箇所に入れるのは最大でも5人まで8人全員で入ることはできないから二手に分かれるしかなさそうだちょちょっと待って先に言っとくけど私は5の扉には入らないからねおいおいわがまま言うなよわがままだろうとなんだろうと絶対に言やあの血だまりの上を歩くぐらいなら私はここに残るわやれやれせっかくみんなでまとまりかけたって時に悪いが俺もごめんだな五の扉はパスだおいおいサンタまで何を言い出すんだこの靴買ったばっかなんだあのキモいおっさんの血で汚したくないんだあお前なそもそも最初に先に進もうって言い出したのはお前なんだぞあ,あ知らねえよそんなもん俺は最初から四の扉に入るつもりだったしまあ、言ったなこりゃ分かったよそれじゃあ俺が5の扉に入ろうと言っても1人だけじゃどうにもならねえ誰か一緒に来てくれるやつはいないか僕が行こうお,お兄ちゃん大丈夫だよ心配いらない一旦は離れ離れになってしまうけどもう一度どこかで合流できるはずだどうして分かるのわかるからわかるんだ答えになってないよだったら私も一緒に行く五の扉に入る弱ったな
Nani mo yowaru shiyou wa nai daro. Okay, that is just very suspicious. The way he talks as if he knows what is going on and what's beyond those doors. This is, I mean, he's the most suspicious person right here. Even, I mean, the sister is definitely not able to see it, but the way he phrases his words, it's like he is zero. <laughs> he's the one who set up this entire game. He knows what's beyond the door. He's confident enough to say that he's going to meet up with the sister later on um, after crossing the doors. Um, you know, as if like the doors are going to lead to the same room. We don't know whether they are different rooms. Um, that kind of thing. So it's it's really looking very suspicious for him right now. So I I have no idea what's going on. Let's find out more soon. ことしが加わればいいだけのことだ。違うかね。7と 7と 1 1 1 その Okay, let's do a little bit of math. So, 8 plus 3, we have 11. 11 plus, well, another 11 is 22. So, they will have 4. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 equals 22. 22 plus 2 plus 2 equals 4. 残った ヤシロ、サンタ、紫、俺の この扉を選べば、それを嫌っている野手や さて、と。それでは決まりだな。行こう。私は5の扉へ行こう。私たちもそっちだね。行こう、お兄ちゃん。こら、こら。そんなに強く引っ張らなくても扉は逃げないよ。俺はどっちの扉に。Okay, so Junpei has been thinking quite a bit and I have to agree with him. It's like, um, if you want to really find more about the game setup, I think looking at the cops might give us a clue. Um, you know, considering that now we are short of one character, I mean one person with a number, the number 9 um, is an odd number and so far the teams are split between... Um, an even and an odd number group. 
uh, I mean in terms of the root numbers. So what happens if we end up meeting doors that require both teams to add up to an odd number? So that nine digit can be a very integral part of you know progressing forward. So if you guys know the Saw series well enough, you know the games are all designed in a way that you can't lose a single person if you want to survive. Uh, technically you can survive but if someone dies, um, eventually you're gonna have to kill more people just for like the minimal amount of people to survive the entire thing. Um, still with you know like um uh, survivable health conditions uh <laughs> after the entire um game that has been set up so i mean i would definitely like to go through five which seems like the wisest choice because you want to check out the body um especially now that we know that uh, there is this information of you know how to remove the bracelet from the body of the of I mean the of whoever's wearing it. You either exit out of the boat or you you know or the watch detects that you have no more pulse. So basically the watch on the dead fella is removable hint hint <laughs> for that that's just my speculations from all the information that has been just thrown to us right now. And I'm still very sus of Snake. I mean, the blind dude, you know. Because he seems to know too much. Um, Ace is a bit v too smart for his own good. He's able to di like dissect the team members into the two different doors straight away. Without needing much thought on like the math calculations. So I'm a bit wary of him as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and persuade to see whether we can go through door 5. But the thing is... Maybe we might be able to go into door 5 later on in this game. I mean, uh, Junpei has a, you know, a very valid point. Don't want to, like, scar uh, Jun with, like, the, the dead corpse of that fella, so. Okay, uh, just for the sake of being nice to the childhood friend, let's go with door 4. <laughs> はじめから悩む必要なんてなかったわ。そうだよ。あいつはそばにいてやれるんだ。それでいいじゃないか。何も問題なんてない。このまま、あの4人を見送ろう。1宮さんたち、そろそろ行くみたいです。さて、と。それじゃな。ええ、気をつけて。ひどい。何をしてるんだい。ほら、早く行くよ。お兄ちゃん。I <笑><笑> I guess that's the benefits of being blind. いいから早く。それともみんなで仲良く死ぬつもりなのかな扉が開いている時間は9秒しかないんだよごめんお兄ちゃん急ごう おい、向こうの様子は何かわからないのかよ せめて音だけでも何か鳴ってるなさっきと同じ電子音ね番組の次元起爆送信機のサドオンだろ大丈夫でしょうか多分こいつがデッドペアスだろう早く
丈夫か？うん、大丈夫。一応デッドの情報を伝えておくね。デッドはレッドと同じデザインをしてて、でも色だけが違うの。レッドは赤い色をしてたじゃない。だけどデッドは青だからあとはレッドと何もかも同じ認証の仕方もねわかったありがとう助かるよグッドなグッドな我々は先に進むことにしよう君たちも気をつけるんだぞああ了解だバンドなそれじゃあまず俺からよしそれじゃあ準備はいいな This is pretty enough wrecking I wonder what's behind the door 行きましょうよしそれじゃあ行こう It's a long hallway. Oh my goodness. God, is this not the same as the other side? Oh crap! Oh no, what in the world? Game, don't do this to me. <laughs> oh God! At least Zero is kind enough to have all the other doors locked, so they can just move forward and figure out that the dead is at the other end of the hallway. Oh God! Ski, atari mo mata tobira ka. Masu wa kochi da na. この両開きのドアはとまあ開かないよな。鍵を残こう。うん。Another symbol。押す？違いますよ。これは多分火星のマークだと思います。確かに押すの記号と同じですけどね。でもほら。大階段の近くにも同じようなマークがあったじゃないですか。太陽系の星を示すマークが。ああ、そういえば、太陽、土星。Yep, we saw this in the last episode. 地球もあったの。だからこれも多分。オスじゃなくて太陽系の。火星のマークってことか。だと思います。So I'm guessing the female symbol is for Venus。サンタはどこだ。あ、あらかた調べてみたんだが。ダメだ。他のドアは全部開かねえ。Yep, zero's been kind
残るはこの2枚のドアだけってことねルームナンバーですかね左手のドアは B92 右手のドアは B93 か開けてみよう俺は92号室の方をやるああなら俺は93号室だなせーのうん、で、ボフオープン開いたぞああ開いたな,なんか拍子抜けたなこ、uh -oh. んなにもあっさり開くとはなこれもゼロの思惑通りってことなのかしらなんだかいいように操られてるみたいで尺に触るわねとにかくこの2つの部屋どちらかに先へ進むための手がかりがあるはずよ探しましょう私とサンタはこっちの部屋を調べてみるから純平君と紫さんはそっちを頼むわああ分かった了解ですあら、here we go! The puzzle portion of the game? Mmm, okay, they're giving us an overlook of the entire room that we are searching. So, there seems to be three sections of the room the main living area, then there's the bedroom and the toilet. That's a pretty big showering area. Okay. Nope. Nope, nope, okay. Um. So apparently we are going down the left route of the story, so that's pretty interesting. Alright, let's check out the vase. Do we have anything that we can see? Kind of a weird looking picture. Do you think it's an extract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant like a nose. Sucking on a human being's... Oh god. June, why do you have such weird imaginations? <laughs> What's her brain made of? <laughs> Can't say I'll mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. Oh, Junpei, you have, you have a thing for June. Uh, it might look different if we rotate the photo, I think? Who knows? Okay. What about the vase? That vase looks expensive. I wonder how much we could get for it. Are you gonna steal it? <laughs> this girl is so mischievous and weird ideas. Oh god, Junpei. Uh, nah, I was just about to go to look for a toilet. I mean, who knows. Okay, what's this on the table? Matches. Okay, seems like an ordinary. Can we open them up? There are matches inside, obviously. Okay, so it's just an ordinary matchbox. Yeah, she seems fine when she was reacting to the photo, I mean, the painting and the vase. <laughs> ちょっとおでこ見せてみろ確かに熱は下がってるようだな心配してくれてるんですかまあ一応な Gotta be honest, man ところで、純平くんん純平くんはなんでこんなところにいるんですかなんでみんながいるときに話しただろう。夜、家に帰るとガスマスクの男だった。So we can speculate if Zero is actually one of the、um, people that's being is that's playing this death game right now by the height comparison from the reflection. I mean, the person seems to be somewhat similar height to Junpei, kind of. 
unless the person is wearing some kind of elevated shoes, then we might get thrown off with our suspicions. Um, but still. She's suspicious of us. してねえよ。なんで小学校の同級生がこんなところに。それはこっちのセリフだ。お前こそ何か隠してるんじゃないのか何かって何をですか今までに付き合ってきた男性の数とか。<笑> <laughs> Why would she mention something like that out of the blue? What? That's still quite a lot. Oh, she's such a tease. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she's giving me all the uh, Takagi san vibes right now. <laughs>私は何も隠し事なんてしてませんよ。純平君と同じです。目が覚めたらデデキの性質に。じゃあ、これは一体どういうことなんだよ。なんでゼロは同じ小学校の出身者であるああ、言ってたな。だからどうするのそういうことですよ。やっぱり同級生の誰かが関係してるんじゃないかと。心当たりでもあるのか。いや、さっぱり。なんだよ。他に学校の関係者って言ったら担任の先生とか。用務員のお
Okay, so I've never seen a bed with such high bed frames. This feels more like a hospital bed. Normally, you wouldn't need bed frames that high on the sides, do you? It feels kind of like a, a baby sleeping pen. <laughs> I, I, we all know what she's thinking about. Okay, let's let's get out of here. How about this? This isn't a painting. It's is it a map? Looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it would be a really useful. Let's take it with us. Indeed, it's yeah. I mean, definitely a map of the boat is going to help us a lot. Map screen can only be viewed during the story session, so on the map screen you can examine a map of the ship's floor plan which you will require, require over the course of the story. Pressing L and X will allow you to see the bird's eye view for that room. Good to know. Ah, この船とタイタニックには何か関係があるってことでしょうか。なるほど。確かに気になるな。何も関係がなければタイタニックを引き合いに出したりはしないだろうし。うん。もしかしたらこの船。いや、it's マニアだよ。タイタニックの熱狂的なマニアだ。そんなありえないですよ。一体いくらかかると思ってるんですか。さあ、だが、とにかく元が取れればいいわけだろ。元？そうだ。実際に客船として運用してみるとかな。現代に
信じられないような特徴があってなんだよその特徴っていうのは彼女驚くほど綺麗だったみたいなんです綺麗はいミイラなのにそうです干からびていたわけでも腐っていたわけでもなくまるで生きているようだったああそれってあれだろう白岡だったっけ死体がある特定の環境下に置かれると体内の脂肪分が文字通りろうそくのろうのように変わって違いますあ違うんです白岡とかそういうんじゃなくじゃあなんだよ彼女は凍ってたみたいなんですは凍ってたはい全身がガチガチに。人間の体っておよそ 60% が水分でできてるって言われてるじゃないですかその水分が全部氷結してたんですよ発見された時からタイタニックに積み込まれるまでずっと凍りついたその体は砂漠の上を運ばれている時でさえ決して溶けることはなかったと言われています How is it possible with technology from that time period? そんなバカな話信じられませんよねでも純平君が知らないだけでもしかしたら本当にあるかもしれませんよ俺が知らないだけええ砂漠でかき氷とか実は常識かもしれませんえってさすがにそれはないだろうわかりませんよそれもまた純平君が知らなかっただけかもしれませんし砂漠の上でも溶けない氷ってそんなもの存在するのかうん、I'm very curious about this myself いや、仮に存在していたとしてそれはもう氷とは呼べないんじゃないかうん OK、uh, Nothing else with the bed So let's head out to the other side of the room We have yet to check out the bathroom though. Can we unlock this? There's a key. Okay. Anything special about this key? Huh. Okay. Mirror. Anything with a chair? Okay, let's get out. Uh, over here. What about the toilet? That's the bathroom wall. We a square tiles all over it. Very interesting um, wallpaper for the toilet. Guess the plumbing is not real in this boat. Okay. Is the wallpaper like some kind of code? It's not ex exactly symmetrical. You know, like lines, suddenly this line is here, and then there's only two squares. It gets cut off. Toilet bowl. Nothing there, the tank's empty too. Yeah, I have a feeling that the, the water plumbing system is not working in this replica. Collection of full and partially depleted rolls of toilet paper someone was well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it. Okay. Alright. Are we not done? We're gonna leave June here? Alright. Okay, we are in the other room. It seems like. Oh, the painting is a bit different. Black and white pattern on it. it I think it's like not completely filled up. Looks like a valuable vase. Um, okay, so each of the rooms has its own vase. Oh, this one has. Ooh. 
Uh, this is a display case. Check it out. These plates and oh shit look really expensive. You want to take a look? Of course I do. Okay, we have a key though. So does this key work for this? Okay, it's a different key. Okay, uh, the piece of the painting seems to be here. So I guess we might have to duplicate the painting on the other side of the room. A candle or a candlestick. This might come in handy. Okay, so we're gonna combine with the... There we go. Shall we light the candle? <laughs> so this candle is going to stay permanently lit, I guess. Alright, anything on the sofa? Hey, check this out. That's a pretty nice sofa. You know, it's a shame I can't take it back with me. I'm still pretty surprised that June is pretty brave to stay in that room alone. Awesome, with the light from the candle, maybe you can take it. Oh, apparently the room was too dark. I get so hot when I hold it. I want to put it down. Right, why don't you set it on top of the dresser? It's flat there, at least it won't fall over. Good idea. Alright. Now we can look around a little. Alright, I think the key is for this. Yep. Yeah. So... Nope. Yeah, there we go. Dress a key. Alright, it opened up. There we go, another piece of the painting. Strange design. Is it ceramic? Doesn't look like there are any puzzles in it. Okay, let's go. What about the other side? Ooh, can't see anything. Bottle full of water. So it should be the same. What's this now? Curtains? Do we need to put it inside the shower room? Okay, what about the pillow? Two pillows and a pile. Oh, a pile of pillows. This is supposed to be some kind of joke. Hey, calm down. Okay, so apparently the girls all have dirty minds. Hey, what the? It just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out. We should go see. The candle's missing. Look at the candlestick, there's something going on there. What? Really? This is the mirror for the dresser. Hang straight. Nothing weird about it though. There's a candlestick cover in melted wax on top of the... Yep. What's this? The top of the candlestick looks kind of weird. You're right. It's all bumpy. Oh, it's a key! Holy crap! Now that's interesting design. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, so I guess it might be this. Hey, it is! Alright, pull that shit open. Okay, let's pick up this puzzle piece. So we are lacking one. Oh. Alright. あ、これやるよ。しおり。なんだよこれ。本でも読めっていうのか。ソファーの隙間に挟まってたんだ。何の役にも立ちそうもないが、かといって捨てちまうのもなんだろ。どうだろう。お前が持ってればいいじゃないか。俺が世界中で最も嫌いな言葉を知ってるか。No <笑> idea. That's a lot of things. Hope, faith, love, luck. 希望, 信頼, 愛, 幸運? そうだ。それが嫌いな言葉なのか。まあ、悪いか。別に悪くはないが。
それが今言った4つの言葉なんだ要するに花言葉みたいなもんだなああ花じゃないから箱言葉かリーフワードとでも言うのかねリーフワードねオーブンフェイスラブラック希望信頼愛コンドまとにかくそんなわけでこいつはお前にやるよ持ってるだけで寒気がしてくるからなうっ寒さなほらうーん。Okay, we'll keep on holding it. Didn't know that the f o l l e f clover had such meanings behind it. <laughs> 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 It's like you're a リユはそれだけじゃないんだけどな。リユ？四つ葉のクローバーが嫌いな理由だよ。四っていう数字がどうも好きになれねえんだ。Wait, what number is he again? まさか死人の死だからとか言わないよな。アホか、言わねえよ。今日日小学生でも田舎のババアでもスピリチュアルなんとかにハマってるロハスなセレブでもそんなこと言わねえだろ。じゃあなんで4が嫌いなんだよ中途半端だからだ最強でもねえし最弱でもねえだから嫌いなんだよん逆に好きなのは何と言っても9だなもしくは開き直って豚でもいい負け方が潔いだろ何の話だよそれはお前かかぶふん I have a feeling he's talking about gambling. Oh, it's a couple, no? So, the now. I'm not sure 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 Uh, and he's talking about his favorite number being 9, but the person who's holding number 9 is dead. So, I don't know. This is the same game as the game. Huh? That's right. I'm going to get the game. 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 おいちょこぶの方は数字婚なんていうめんどくさいものは使わないけどね札の数を足して2桁になったら10の位を切り捨ててしまえばいいだけででも合計数を1桁に変えて勝負するという意味では同じじゃないなるほど言われてみりゃ確かにそうだなそれから最終的に9を作ったものが勝ちってところも似てるわ9を作ったものが勝ち Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, this is a pretty interesting concept. So, remember when I told you earlier before we went through the door four? And I was saying that, you know, with all the information that we've learned so far, um, Junpei was thinking about going into door five to take a look at the dead body. And I was saying that, oh, Zero gave us information that the watch can only be removed by. Um, exiting the boat, and of course, if the watch detects that your pulse is, you know, not present anymore, so you can actually remove the watch from a dead person's body. So, with what they have just said, whoever owns number nine wins. And now that the number nine character is dead, they can technically remove the number nine watch off his body. So that. Watch is technically going to be the key importance of escaping this entire boat. Ah, things are looking pretty interesting. Did I just solve the puzzle of this game just from this two hours of gameplay? <laughs>、uh, okay, let's find out. Wasn't it? Zero was saying. 
脱出するための出口は船内のどこかに隠されている探したまえ「Q」と書かれた扉がそれだつまりこの船から脱出するには最終的に数字痕が Q になるようなチームを作らなければならないってことか Wait, so does that mean that not everybody can escape from the boat? Only those who can make the digital route 9 can escape? So there are 9 of them, technically. So if you add all 9 numbers,、um, so you've got.、Uh, let's see. How, <laughs> what, is the, what is the digital route of all of them?、Um, oh! Okay, so、uh, that was my bad. We kind of. I accidentally kind of forwarded it. Okay, let's figure out what's the digital root of all the numbers. Um, 1, Okay, so if you had all nine players, you will get the digital root of nine. So it's exactly like saw. Um. So technically, if everyone survives, everyone leaves. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to check out the previous text first before.、Um, because we kind of accidentally fast forward. Okay, so the person who makes nine wins, do you forget already? Don't you remember what Zero said? It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out, seek a door that carries a nine. So, if we want to get off this boat, we have to make a team whose numbers have the digital root of nine. And only the people in that team are going to make it out alive, of course.、Uh, that's why it's called the nonary game. What? Huh? You don't know? Nonary means something derived from nine or base nine. It's derived from the Latin prefix, prefix nona, which means nine. Okay, okay, so a bit of play on language there. That's interesting. Alright, let's keep going. Bye. Okay, this one I think most people would know. San no Toriwa Yoku Mimini Surdeshu Torio Toka, Toripur Toka, Torayangur Toka Sono Atoa, Quorto, Quinto, Sexa, Septo, Totsite Saigoni Hachino Setoji de Aru Octoa, Octopas Taco Hora Taco de Ashina Hapon Janai Dakara なるほど、それと同じで「ノナ」っていうのは「Q」を表すわけかところでこの船に閉じ込められたのって何人だったっけ ?9 人だなそれぞれに割り振られたバングルナンバーは ?1 から9までだタイムリミットは何時間だったかしら ?0 は9時間だそれじゃあ最後この船から脱出するにはどこかにある Q の扉を開かなければならない数字痕が Q になるチームを作ってつまりそういうことこのゲームにはあちこちに Q という数字が散りばめられてるのよ、yep, it's even in the title of this game. Q をテーマにしたゲームだからノナリーゲームってってわけオッケー、we just got a whole bunch of law。Hmm。Okay、we should check out the toilet though。Okay、so the toilet is the same。This is the bathroom wall。The whole wall is covered in these square tiles。Nope. It's gonna change this to the curtain. I'm not sure if we can actually do anything with the curtain. Yep, we can hook it up. Yep, there we go. Oh, there's something in the curtains.
Let's see the hole. <laughs> this is pretty, pretty obvious. Oh, it's a clue to the wall. Ah. Okay, so you're saying maybe the one getting spied on was into that shit. <laughs> no, it's not peeping hole. It's a clue. Maybe they were into like those home invasion facts. Oh god, these people are really strange. <laughs> you two are real idiots, you know that. Okay, yeah. So, can we actually pull the curtain? There we go. So this is a clue. Can see a single towel. Fifth from the top and third from the right. Fifth from the top and third from the right. Okay. So has this got to do with something with the other toilet? Yeah, let's go check out June. <laughs> Dude, chill. Okay, let's check out the toilet here. There's no curtains here, so this should be the towel. Here it is. Yes, this is the one's loose. To get under this with my nails. Yeah, there we go. So one side has a design like the rest of the bathroom towels, and the other side has the black and white design. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere before. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Gotta keep <laughs> avoiding pressing the wrong buttons. Alright, let's head over to the other room. And let's finish up this puzzle. So I guess put the... There we go. Oh, we gotta... S okay, let's arrange this properly. There we go. Yep. This looks a bit off. Huh. This one is not rotatable, so definitely... There we go. Done! Oh! The picture moved and there goes the frame. What's this? What do you mean, what's this? Pretty obvious, isn't it? It's a hole in the wall. A hidden safe or something, you know. Maybe let's take a look. I think there's something inside. It's a key. Hey, it's the key to the door. So then you still dang on the conway. What does she call it on it? I don't know. Meet a good amount of double it. Oh, no, 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 シールドレークという人が面白い学説を唱えててね。それについて書かれた本の中で見たのよ。面白い学説って携帯形成場仮説あるいは形成的因果作用の仮説。とああ、ダメだ。聞いただけで頭が痛くなってきそうだ。I <笑> 生物の形や行動パターンといったものは目には見えないフィールドを介して伝わっているんじゃないかってことでおいおいそれのどこが簡単だって言うんだじゃあこう言ったら分かってもらえるかしらテレパシーのメカニズムに関する仮説わってテレ
何もその仮説を信じてるわけじゃないもの擁護するつもりなんてさらさらないわ単なるとんでも理論行々しい言葉を並べ立ててさもありなんと説明しただけの疑似科学私だってそう思ってるまあとにかくその本の中で見たのよこれと似たような絵をこれ何に見える I don't know. 何言ってただの抽象画だろ白と黒だけで描かれた意味不明な絵だそうとしか言いようがない純平君はどう何かに見えないうんそうだな強いて言うなら Huh? How does it look like a man's face? Uh, butterfly? No. Koi? Koi. If you guys don't know what koi is, it's actually a fish. A dog, a small boat floating in a lake. Yeah, it kind of looks like a small boat. I think it looks like a ma uh, like the boat's mast. Um, but like the boat is sunk. That kind of stuff. I don't know. That's not how I imagine it. Okay. How is that a dog? Oh! That's it? I the face of the face of the face こんな実験をしたのまずこれと同じような絵を2枚用意する両方ともパッと見ただけではわからないんだけどでも正解を教えられたらもうそれにしか見えなくなってしまうような、really? そんな絵をね片方は帽子をかぶった貴婦人の絵もう片方はとりあえずわかりやすくするために OK so they highlighted the previous Answer, which was a woman wearing a hat. So I guess that's a clue to something in the future. この小型犬の絵だったってことにしておきましょうか。オッケー。でね、実験を行ったテレビ局はこの2枚の絵をどうしたのかっていうと、まずそれらをこの局の放送電波が届かない遠隔地へと送ったの。アイルランドやアメリ
the internet wasn't such a big thing. I mean, nowadays, if you want to do something like this, it's kind of impossible because social media is just too quick. Uh, <laughs> people would just, you know, take the test in their own country and then after that, it was just spread around social media and eventually the whole world will know about this thing before they, they can even do another round of testing. So it's kind of irrelevant in this day and age. So. くり返しになるけど、被験者たちは番組を見てるはずがないのよ。局のある<笑> People have telepathic wavelengths of uh, informing them each other about their experiences in life without having the need to talk to each other. <笑>なわけないでしょ。冗談よ、冗談。真に受けないでくれる<笑><笑> <笑>本気で信じてるのかと思っちまったじゃねえか。そんなわけないじゃない。最初に言ったでしょ。単なるとんでもり論か。疑似科学だって。そっかそっか。さあ、よたばなしはこれでおしまい。鍵は手に入